Hello and welcome to Wigs with Liz. My name's Liz and I wear wigs and I wanted to jump on today to talk about the gorgeous audacious wig from Natural Image Wigs. Now in real time as I record this video, I am actually doing a giveaway on the channel right now to win either an audacious wig, which is the wig I'm wearing, or an elusive wig from Natural Image Wigs too. And that giveaway is going on until I announce the winner on the 31st of August 2023. So if you're watching this right now in real time, you've still got time to get involved in that giveaway. So if you go to the giveaway video, I shared it on the community post, so it's very easy to find. You've got chance to get involved in that. And I'm going to be announcing the winner of that giveaway. I've only got one to give away on the 31st of August. If you're watching this any other time, though, the giveaway will be closed from the 31st of August 2023. But still a great video to watch to get an idea what the colour is of natural image wigs or to have a look at the gorgeous wig audacious. So today I'm going to be showing her in two colours. In the colour I'm wearing, which is the gorgeous chocolate copper mist, which I've already done reviews on. And I did do an updated review on this the other day as well because of the giveaway. But I'm also going to be showing you today audacious in the gorgeous colour pecan mist which is this gorgeous kind of just like a gorgeous kind of dirty blonde colour you know it's just really pretty so I'm going to be talking about the one I'm wearing we're going to talk about the cap and then I'm going to change and put this one on so I love this colour you know this particular colour chocolate copper mist is one of my favourite colours I've got this colour in natural image wigs in Josephine wig which is a gorgeous long curly one I've got this in elusive wig, which is a gorgeous short curly one that's also involved in the giveaway as well. And I've got this in glow getter, which is another gorgeous long one, but that's a bit more high end with a lace front. So you can check all the reviews for those in the playlist right now. They're there in the wig reviews playlist. Well, this is audacious. So first of all, let's look at the colour. Because this is more for the colour as well as everything else, you know, if you're wanting to know what the colours are like. So very natural chocolate copper mist beautiful and all i've done today is get it out of the box shake it put it on and i've given it a real full look and i've just popped a little clip in it took me two seconds to put this wig on and that's the thing i love about audacious she reminds me a lot of how you know easy to wear and how quick to wear the freedom wig is from good Iris secret wigs so if you love that one you're probably going to like audacious as well so if I just do a little turn and show you, you know, you can definitely get lots of wave and kind of light curl in this wig as well, because it's just beautiful. And when I actually do the giveaway next week, I think what I'm going to do is order myself a couple more pieces of this wig in different colours, because, you know, I'm really loving it right now. I'm wearing it quite a lot as well. And it's just so easy to wear. So the thing I love about Audacious is you can wear it big and full. And I know I've put a little clip in. I just thought it was something a bit different because I'm usually showing it with a headband. And obviously you can really wear it with a headband. And I'll do all my styling when I put the other one on. But, you know, you can just get your fingers and put this behind your ears and flatten the whole thing down. So you can make it look completely different. And that's the thing I love about these wigs, how versatile they are, that you can do that. So you can wear this however you want. But I love it. You know, I'm really enjoying it today with a bit more body and curl. And, you know, I haven't done anything to this. All I've done is take it out of the bag, because I have it in a little bag, shake it out, put it on, and then just go like this, boof it a little bit, and she's good to go. And you can have her as big or as flat as you like. It's up to you. The world is your oyster. So let's have a look at the cap for the gorgeous wig audacious. Remember, this is from Natural Image Wigs. And the colour is chocolate copper mist. Now, I've sewn in two wig clips in this one and this one. And I just pack a pick, a, a pick a pack of 50 wig clips up. Very easy to sew in. I've done videos on that. And the thing I love about these natural image wigs is where the front is. I mean, it's not a lace front, this wig, but it doesn't need to be. And the front of the wig where this, you know, where I've sewn my wig clips in, it's so soft. Okay, it feels kind of velvety, a little bit furry, really comfortable to wear. So even if you're wearing this with no hair, you're going to find this wig super comfortable to wear. She's very breathable as well. Very light wig. This is synthetic hair and this particular wig is an average size cap. Now, just make sure if you're buying or checking out natural image wigs, you do pay attention to the cap size because a lot of their wigs do come in petite. And this is an average and I've kind of made that mistake before 
where I've ordered a wig from there. Thought, oh, it's a petite. But luckily, you know, for me, I'm a kind of petite average anyway. I'm a 21 inch head. But, you know, that one, it does feel a bit snugger on me. So obviously, if you've got a, a head that's, you know, kind of a, a smaller average, you're going to get away with most of these um, wigs anyway. But this is average size and it fits me perfect on a 21 inch head. So very nice to wear. There is machine teasing on this wig, which gives it all the volume, but it's so nice to wear. And then it's light and airy. You've got all the breathable wefting at the back. Really beautiful. And you've got Velcro style adjusters on this one to make the wig tighter or looser to suit your own head. So I'm just going to put them up a little bit because I haven't worn this one, this particular colour for ages. So I'm excited to get her on today. And really you're going to see it kind of right out of the box because I have worn this wig but not for a while. So you can tell she needs a little bit of styling. So very nice cap, fits nice, lovely to wear, the ear tabs feel nice. Real joy to wear this wig. And I really love it in this colour. You know, this for me is one of my personal favourite colours because it's very natural for me. You know, it's very close to my own natural hair colour, you know, and it's beautiful. So if you've got bio hair that's dark as well, you're going to feel perfect in this wig. So this is a gorgeous colour. I love this one. But I love this too. You know, this is Pecan Mist and it's just something very different for me. You know, when I first started my wig journey, I do talk about this. I bought this particular wig and this particular one from Selfridges in London. So I didn't even know about natural image wigs. I was buying all my wigs at the time from Godiva Secret Wigs on, and you know, other wigs from Amazon. And then I got introduced to natural image wigs through, through Selfridges, you know, because Selfridges in London, it's like a big department store. They've got all kinds of shops in there, you know, like clothes, perfume, makeup, everything. And then right at the back, They've got hot air concession stands and I went in there and they got audacious and they got audacious in these two colours and I just snapped them up. So, you know, I was like, wow, yeah, I really like that look. And obviously at the time, you know, I wasn't really used to wearing anything short on me because my hair was longer and I've gone shorter over time. And I've obviously gone really short to cut out all the old colour because I'm going through perimenopause and I'm 47 and I don't want to colour my hair anymore. I just don't, you know, I want it to grow back natural, which it is doing now. So it's kind of in that awkward stage of growth where, you know, it, it's grown a lot. And you'll see that obviously in the videos I'm sharing in real time, it does look a lot shorter because I schedule my videos. But now when I'm doing this video today, I can just about get it back in a full pony. But I am still wearing two bands to keep it all back. But, you know, there was a period of hair growth where my hair was sticking out of all my wigs and I was thinking, is it worth it? But it really was worth cutting it all off to get it grow back now because it's in the best condition of its life. So for me, you know, wearing a wig is just amazing. It's changed my life wearing wigs. I love wearing wigs. I'm passionate about wearing wigs. It's exciting to wear wigs. I'm a bit obsessed with buying wigs because I want to try all these different colours and styles. And, you know, just be aware of that. You know, when you become a wig wearer, you can get addicted because you buy a wig and you think, oh, I love that wig. I want it in another colour. And then you get it in that colour and you think, oh, I want it in another colour. And then you're happy with what you've got. And then you see another wig and you're like, oh, I want that wig in this colour. And then it goes on and on, you know. So just be a bit careful. But the thing is, you know, us wig wearers, we tend to buy wigs instead of maybe buying dresses or shoes. You know, we stop buying things that we may have bought before and we start investing in wigs because they are an investment. You know, it depends obviously how often you're wearing them, how long they're going to last you. But if you are looking after them and putting them away well and washing them when they need to be washed, you're going to get a good longevity out of your wigs. So I love them. And look at this gorgeous colour pecan mist. So it's kind of like, to me, this is like a bit of a dirty blonde. You know, it's like, a, it's like either a very light brown or a very dark blonde, but it's also got light pieces through. So, you know, for me on this channel, you know, I'm a daily wig wearer like you are, or you're passionate about wigs, and I'm not a wig reviewer, you know, even though I'm reviewing wigs, you know, I'm not like going onto their websites and reading out what the colour is, or I'm giving you a raw review from my eyes looking at this wig. This to me is like a bit of a dirty blonde. And you know, the way the camera is as well, and the lighting on this video, I've kind of got it on the most natural setting it can be. So you can see the wig as is. You know, so for example, when I'm looking at my colour of this wig in the camera and I pick up 
my mirror and look in the mirror, it's exactly the same. You know, so it's not like the camera lighting is making it look different in any way. So I know that when you look at this colour, you'll see the same colour as me. I mean, we're all different. You may see something a bit different. I mean, it's got even like a hint of, I'd say when you're looking at it from a distance, it may even have, you know, a hint of like a hazelnut in there. Okay, it's definitely not like a silver or, you know, like a, an ashy blonde in any way. It's, it's just a very nice kind of light, I'd say light brown or kind of like a darker blonde. But you decide, you make up your mind. And, you know, you'll be able to tell better when it's on my head. So before I put Audacious on in this colour, let me just show you how I can style this one. So obviously I've put a little pink clip in, which I'm really digging. And, you know, I tend to, if I'm just wearing this with no accessories for me you know I tend to just kind of wear it like this now again I've parted it here but you can part this wig anywhere you know you can part you sweep it over more for more of a sexy look you can cut bang in you know there's all kinds of things you can do you're not stuck with one particular way of styling this you know it's a very versatile wig and it's such a great buy for the money you know this is kind of a more budget wig it's like I think this wig to buy brand new um, is about £125. But, you know, it's always on sale. You know, there's always sales going on, especially on Natural Image Wigs website. And, you know, they're, they're like 103 I've seen them at £99. So it depends, you know, when you catch the wig and where you're buying it from. Now, I like to wear this also with a headband and bling it up a bit like this, you know, but she's gorgeous. She really is. You know, and the more you get used to wearing wigs, the more you get used to messing with the styles and you're not afraid of them. You know, when I first got this wig, you know, I was a little bit afraid to style it and I kind of wore it in one, you know, one style. And, you know, you'll look back on old vid videos and think, oh, you know, you could wear it different, you know. So this is Audacious and Chocolate Copper Mist, but we're going to put the Pecan Mist on. You just check it is called Pecan Mist. Yeah, Pecan Mist or Pecan Mist, Pecan Mist. So it's like the nut. So it's like a nutty colour. That's what it's supposed to be like. So all my hair, I've pushed it all back ready for this wig. I have still got two bobbles and I've got one there, higher up there, and I've got one there. And that doesn't affect how the wig looks or feels at all. So what I'm going to do, because I haven't worn this wig for ages, I'm going to give her a shake up. And I'm excited to get this wig on because, as I said, I haven't worn it in this colour for ages. So it's going to be nice to see it with fresh eyes, you know, kind of a year on with my wig journey. So I'm going to unclip the wig clips. And in the giveaway as well, I'm giving you the option if you want me to sew those in for you, I can, or not sew them in, you know, because it comes without wig clips. I've just done that for me. You know, I prefer to kind of put my wig on and secure it to my hair instead of putting a wig cap on or a wig grip on just what you know is personal preference for me so i'm going to grab my thumbs at the back where the label is and put the top of the wig about there and what someone said to me as well as is, is using wig clips in my hair thinning my hair or causing me any hair damage no i haven't noticed any hair damage my hair is fine in fact my hair with me growing all the color out is in the best condition of its life it's really nice and soft today as well you can see my white coming through because obviously it's growing back i think my hair eventually will be salt and pepper blends which i'm really excited about so thumbs at the back where the label is front of the wig about there and then put your hairs into the wig i'm gonna tuck my bobble in it doesn't take long luke grab the two ear tabs and put them down by the side flat and then we're gonna pull the wig up to my hairline so pull it up to your hairline like this and you can clip her in. Now, as you can see, I haven't worn this for a while. That's why it's like this. So you might get the wig and think, oh my goodness me, what do you do with that then? Easy, okay? Start around the face. So use your finger. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to kind of part it a bit different. Because obviously, maybe when I was wearing this wig at the beginning, I was perhaps wearing it a lot different than I would now. So I'm just going to start by manoeuvring the fringe and the bang and the style a little bit around the front. So just make sure it's at your hairline it is. And then obviously, you know, I'm just using my fingers like a rake. So I'm not using a styling tool or I'm not using a comb at the moment. I'm just using my fingers as a rake. Now, remember, I haven't worn this for ages. So it's been in a bag and this is how it's gone into style. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my little comb and I'm going to create a party. 
So I'm going to part it there, about where the other one is, or was, should I say, because I'm not wearing it anymore. About there. And to just, you know, going to get it into a little bit of a style, because I do like it parted this way, and then I mess around with the way it is. So let's look at the colour before we do anything else with the style. So the colour is really pretty. I like this colour, something different. You know, it's just not blonde, but it's it's not brown either. It's somewhere in between. It really is like a nutty colour. So if you like those kind of nutty colours, you're going to like this colour. So let's do a turn and have a look at the colour. Really pretty. And the thing I love about natural image wigs as well is how they go darker into the knee. You know, I don't have to look to see if it's doing that on this one. But when you get a longer, you know, like a longer style with from this company, like Josephine, yeah, it's a little bit darker there. It goes darker at the bottom, you know, so it's really natural looking something a bit different. So this colour is really pretty. Now we need to get her into style because I wouldn't necessarily wear her like this, even though she's very pretty like this. I'm just going to get a bit of water. Okay, so if you're thinking, well, maybe it needs just a little bit of water, you know, to kind of break the hair up a little bit and bring a bit of that natural curling. But obviously, you know, because it's a different colour, you can see the colour defined and you can see the curl defined in a different way. So you can cut a bang into this. So maybe you're thinking, oh, I'd really love that with a bang in. You can trim a little bang into this or you can push it over the way that I do. You know, and you can, you, you kind of get messy with it because if this was your own hair, you may not make sure it's in such a perfect kind of parted way. You know, you're going to mess around with it. So let me just have a quick look in the mirror. I just need to see where I'm going to part it, you see. Because obviously, like I say, I haven't worn this for a long time, this wig. And, you know, it went, I mean, last time I wore this wig, it was really windy when I went out. And it was blowing my hair all over the place. That's much better there. And, you know, it was blowing my hair everywhere. I don't think I've got the wig high enough, you know. Let me just lift it up slightly. This is why sometimes I prefer to have a stand-up mirror which I'm going to get, instead of just having a mirror I have to hold, because then I can kind of do it in the mirror just to make sure I've got it in the right place. Because when you are putting a wig on in the camera and on, you know, in the mirror, it does look totally different. So just lifting it up slightly, you can tell it's much better now. You know, it was just a little bit low before. So just take a moment to make sure you're doing it right, you know. So she's just super pretty. You know, she's really pretty. And I feel that, you know, this wig... Is a great wig for any age. You know, great wig for any age because you can wear this when you're older, when you may be in your 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, or when you're younger, 20s, 30s, 40s, absolutely. You know, I don't think this is an age wig at all, you know. So if I put my headband in and we're going to just bling it up again, you know, you might like to wear this band completely different than me. But for me, this is how I like it. You know, I like it kind of sweeps over like this. Reminds me a lot of the Freedom wig, as I said, by Godiva Secret Wigs. So, you know, look how different it looks already with a headband in. Really pretty. So I feel for me the headband has just kind of settled this down straight away. You know, I, on me personally, I feel that the darker one looks better on me in this particular wig. But this is definitely a colour I wear, you know. I mean, I know I haven't worn it for a while, but it's just because I've been trying so many other wigs. But, you know, I'm really into audacious wig at the moment. And I know I'm going to start wearing this colour again. So really pretty. And, you know, with me doing this giveaway, it's also given me the opportunity to get this wig on. So instead of wearing a Lucy Velot, which is the other wig I'm giving away, which is the really nice short curly one. I've just been fangirling over audacious, you know, wearing this one. And the thing I love about wearing this particular wig with a headband, a lot like when I put any short styles on now with a headband, I kind of like punking it up a little bit over the headband like this. So it kind of breaks the hair up as well. So it looks really, really pretty. I mean, look at that there. Really pretty. Again, you know, you can part it somewhere different. So maybe you're thinking, okay, well, I just want to part it a bit different like this. So again, you're not stuck with where you can part this. You can part it anywhere. And it doesn't have to be, you know, perfect parting either. Because when we've got our own natural hair, we don't do it perfect. We just, sometimes we've got bed hair. And that looks more natural than ever. 
So, you know, you can mess around with the parting. So look at that, how pretty it is. So, you know, when you first put it on, if it's a bit flyaway and you're thinking, oh, you may just need to sit with the wig and sit with the style on your own head and think, OK, does that suit me? Can I rock this wig? You know, how should I wear this? And I quite like it like this with the headbands. Really pretty. And this colour's really nice, you know, something a bit different. And the thing is, if I was buying this from, you know, uh, online, I wouldn't necessarily have gone for this colour. And this colour, you know, if you're thinking of transitioning maybe into a grey, this would be a good colour to wear. Because, you know, you can, from a distance, you may even see hints of that in there. It doesn't look grey, but it is that kind of progressional colour. You know, where you could think, okay, I could definitely wear that and then get used to the way the, the colour feels heading into grey. You know, for me, with my hair, I feel it's going to be more of a salt and pepper, like a darker colour, because my natural hair right now is quite dark. Like, it's much darker than it's ever been. It's like, it's not black, but it looks very dark. And, you know, it's kind of, you know, it's not coarse. It doesn't feel that way, but it's how you would expect the hair to feel. You know, when I look at the colour in the mirror and I think... I expect it to feel a lot different than it does. But, you know, if I was transitioning into, like, a full grey or white, this is definitely a colour I would try. So, really pretty. So, I really do like it like this with the headbands. It's just really nice. It's just such a great wig. So, you know, for me, this is how I'm going to wear it. And I'm going to be wearing this wig all day today. That's why I wanted to put it on in this colour. So, let me just take my headbands out. And, you know, you might think, okay, well... I just want to wear it not without any bling or, you know, just as it is. And again, you can wear it like this. You can put it all behind your ears if you wanted to. You can put it behind your ears or you can just pull a bit out and put a bit behind your ears like that. You know, I really like doing this with Freedom Wig from Godiva Secret Wigs and Audacious Wig from Natural Image Wigs because it's just really pretty. So again, you know, if I was going to wear it kind of behind my ears, I would perhaps wear it more like this. Okay, a bit page boy style. And you might think, oh, I prefer it fuller. But it just shows you the versatility of it. You know, that you don't have to just have it in one style. You can play with the style, which I really like about this wig. And that's what I wasn't doing with this wig when I first had it. Because I was a little bit like, oh, don't know how to mess around with wigs a little bit scared of playing with the wigs which is so silly when I think about it now but you know if you want it behind your your ears with a headband look how cool that looks as well so that looks pretty as well just with a bit of bling and you know getting used to the style on your head the color of the the hair because maybe you're going for a different color than you've ever had before I mean I've never been you know anything like this color before with my natural hair I've always been dark or red i've always gone red never gone lighter really as in blonde or like a lighter brunette color i've always been brown or red i've always gone red my sister went the other way my sister went blonde you know she got married as a blonde she got divorced as a brunette but for me you know i always wanted to be a blonde but never did i remember years and years and years ago when i was in my 20s i picked up just like a cheap blonde wig in a little blonde bob um, from a shop. And I wore that one time. And I've always worn wigs at Halloween, you know, but never thought about being a wig wearer. And now I think back and I think, why? But you don't, sometimes you just don't think about it. You know, you've got a busy life, you don't think about these things. But I'm just so grateful that I found wigs now. So this is just a superb colour. And, you know, like I said, you're going to feel amazing when you're wearing different colours when you haven't been that colour before. And it's nice, you know, going as well, maybe you've got really long hair and you want to wear a short wig to go incognito, you go in disguise. You know, it's just amazing, I love it. Or maybe you've got really short hair or maybe you want a, a longer wig because you've lost your hair or maybe you want a wig that just gets you through chemo or whatever it is. This is just such a great wig. And if I put in my little pink clip like I did at the beginning with the other one, Again, look at that, you know, just create something pretty. Isn't it pretty, this wig? For the money, it's an absolute bargain, it really is. Look at that, I love it with a little clip in. You know, maybe I would wear a different colour clip with what I'm wearing. Obviously, I was going out in this today, but I mean, I'm not going out. I'm just around the house and, and working. 
but you know maybe a color because i've got flower clips to match this but i just thought wear something a bit different so just a bit different i really like audacia i think she's really cute she's a groovy style she really is you can wear it back as well maybe you're thinking you want to wear it more more back so again you can boof it up so i love the fact that you know you can play with this style and wear it however you want to suit you maybe you want to bring the whole thing over and sweep it over you know i quite like how it looks like that as well because it's it's sexy when it's swept over i don't think this is a heat friendly wig i'm not sure you'd have to check you know i don't really check because i don't mess around with anything like that you know if i'm buying a curly wig i'm wearing it curly if i'm buying a straight wig i'm wearing it straight if i'm buying a wavy wig i'm wearing it wavy you know to say buying then or wavy you know so i'm wearing it the way it comes I don't want to mess around styling it with, with heat or unless obviously I've got to to make the hair fall right, that's fine. But I mean, I don't want to be, if I've got a straight wig, I don't want to mess around curling the wig. That's not why I'm wearing wigs. I'm wearing wigs to throw them and go, you know, to get it on my hair. You know, Taz from Taz's wig closet calls them plug and chug wigs, where you plug them and chug them. You get them on, you know. So that's what I want, quickness. And I watched a wig um, review video of a lady, I shared it actually, um, on the community post not long ago where she put on Ignite by John Renault. And she was saying, people are asking her why she wears wigs. And she's like, why do I wear wigs? Doom, doom, out the door in two seconds. Out the door in two seconds. Two minutes flat, you're done. Why do you want to mess around styling your hair? And I think back to the days when I took you know, timed hours to do my hair when my hair was long. And, you know, at one point I was going to the hairdressers every week to have it straightened because it was so long. And, you know, I kind of straighten one side myself and then I'd have arm make, I'd give up. One side of my hair be frizzy. And I always dreamed about having a little short flippy style like this. And now I can just wear one whenever I want. Gorgeous. So I'm really loving this wig and I really do like this colour. And when I look in, you know, in the mirror, it's just so pretty, the colour definitely a nutty colour, definitely nutty, you know, if you're thinking, what's the colour, like a nutty, dirty blonde, that's the way I see this wig, really pretty, and you know, like I say with the bank, you know, you haven't got to wear it like I've got it, you can part it anywhere, but it's going to look really pretty anyway, and you know, the thing is as well, if you're wearing a little clip, maybe you don't want to have it party where the clip is, so you want to wear it a bit more like this, really pretty, gorgeous so i think i'm going to leave her with the with the wig clip in today you know with this little clip say wig clip with this flower clip in today just for a little bit of something different or put my headband in but she's a great wig i hope you've enjoyed this let me do another little quick turn before i go with the flower clip in pretty so as i said if you want to get involved with the giveaway in real time head over to the video and comment below in the comments on that video but I just wanted to do a little update and share audacious with you on this amazing day. Have a great day, sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.